Art changes minds. The Queer Arts Festival is a multidisciplinary uh, three-week festival held in Vancouver at the Roundhouse, celebrating queer art and artists. It's been going on for three years as um, a festival. Before that, it was a visual arts show, community yeah, visual community arts show, visual arts show. At, at the Roundhouse that started in uh, 1998. are so queer and I wanted to be able to have uh, a cabaret that was queer and sort of and overtly queer overtly queer and sort of brought back the original ideas of cabaret which is very political yeah political satire um, and you know smoky sexy Sarah Davis Buchner also who um, performed for us in 2010. Amazing pianist. The first the first concert classical concert pianist to undergo gender reassignment yet in the midst of a major international career. Thank you so much for coming to this rather unusual for me as well as for you a recital. I very often talk to my audience when I play, especially you go to smaller towns where people enjoy getting to know the artist a little bit. However, this is a setting where uh, I can truly you know, shoot my mouth off and say all kinds of embarrassing things. And that's a golden opportunity for someone who used to live in the Bronx. You know, this. One of my favorite queer arts festival moments was in 2009. We had a piece that year by Mary Taylor called Homophobia Kills. She had made plastic replicas of weapons that had been used in homophobic murders, attached to them the names of the people who had been murdered, and then was projecting on the walls homophobic slurs made by the gay bashers. Now one day I was, I was gallery sitting a group of teenage boys kind of wandered in. It's The Roundhouse is a community center, and so one of the great things about it is that there are people there for all sorts of things. And these guys had been in there for basketball and then came in and, to see our Queer Arts Festival show. And they were standing in front of Mary's piece and reading out the statements made by the gay bashers and laughing and joking around. And I looked at the other gallery sitter and we really didn't know what to do. But luckily at that moment, Jeff Gibson, our president, came in, who's a high school teacher, and he just went over and talked to the guys and explained to them what the piece was about. And You know, they got uh, quiet and pensive before going away. But the best thing about it was that about a half an hour later, they came back with a group of their friends, and then they repeated Jeff's explanation to them. Art changes hearts, and it changes minds.